Hi, I'm Dr. David Hill, and today we're going to be talking about how to make a headache go away. Now, headaches are among the most common complaints in human existence. Everybody gets them sometimes. There are some headaches that you may not be able to make go away and need to see a doctor for. So if you have a severe headache that awakens you in the middle of the night, a headache that causes vomiting, a headache that makes it difficult for you to bend your neck, or that makes you sensitive to light, you may want to seek medical care for that unless you have a known history of migraines and this is a typical migraine for you. However, the run-of-the-mill daily tension headache or even hangover will involve a dull or throbbing pain and a band-like sensation all the way around the head. It may radiate down into your neck and shoulders, and this is a common and relatively harmless type of headache. The things we reach for the most often, of course, are pain-relieving medicines, and they fall into two classes. One includes only acetaminophen. This is a medication known popularly as Tylenol, paracetamol in Europe, that causes a decrease in pain sensation within the brain itself. There is another larger class of medications called anti-inflammatories, of which aspirin is the oldest and best known. Uh, key here, if you're thinking about relieving a child's headache, do not give a child aspirin. Aspirin has been associated with a rare but deadly disease called Rye syndrome. The other medicines in that class, however, are safe for adults and children for the most part. They include things like naproxen, ibuprofen, which is in Motrin or Advil, and a few others. These medications work by relieving inflammation uh, out in other parts of the body. That's why they're good for musculoskeletal injuries, but they also seem to have a pain relieving effect within the brain. You might take these medications with food because they can cause stomach upset due to their effect on the lining of the stomach. Rest is always a good idea when you have a headache, and if you know you did something that caused the headache, like drinking too heavily or drinking too much caffeine or smoking, you might get rid of that in your life and just avoid the next headache rather than worrying about how to get rid of it. Talking about how to get rid of a headache, how to make one go away, I'm Dr. David Hill.